Up, hey, little star. All right, so we're gonna start off with, with just our cucumbers. And I've taken some plastic wrap and covered this cutting board. I'm just gonna peel 10 cucumbers and then uh, check back in and I'll show you how to chop them up. All right, so last cucumber just coming together here, all peeled off, got them in the bowl. Here's where the plastic wrap comes in. Just take your whole setup like that, wrap it up. Boom, garbage bowl. Boom. And then I'll just show you one of these. I'm gonna cut it in half. Quarter it, right, the long way. Throw on your knife. Boom. Obviously, you can leave these seeds in. They're going to bring a lot more moisture, especially when you add salt. Uh, it'll start to break down, especially the centerpiece, and it'll water down our vinaigrette, which we don't want. So I'm gonna cut these into thirds. Okay, got that lined up. Over here. Boom, there you have it. All right, so that was two cucumbers, eight more to do. I'm gonna knock that out, check back in on the rest of this stuff. Cucumbers, Roma tomatoes rinsed. I'm just gonna take and quarter them like so. Then from there, take my knife. Same story. We don't want any excess moisture watering down our flavor. We'll take it like this. Just turn these sideways. Boom. Next will be our red onion. There's so many things we could say about this salad. It's great in the summertime, it's healthy, it's simple, it's cheap. With our onions, here's what we're gonna do. Ten slices across, two slices up. Onions. All right, so we need some fat in our salad. Avocado is tasty. What I do is I just cut off right at the tip, the stem, and then I'll roll knife into the center, right around, twist it in half, boom, get the pit out. And this will also tell you kind of the ripeness. You know, you can tell your ripeness by feel. That first one right here, a little bit on the right, okay? Because there's still some meat attached to the pit. And then you can also just make the salad without the avocado at the start and then add, you know, half an avocado each time you serve it up. We're gonna have plenty of lemon juice and vinegar, which should keep the avocado from what's called oxidative enzymatic browning, which unlike caramelization, is unfavorable browning. We do not want that. Doesn't look good. And as everyone knows, the first bite is with the eyes. Chop these guys up. Olives. All right, so now we'll start building our flavor for our vinaigrette. Oh, this garlic, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start by chopping it up. And since we want a good spread on this, no overpowering garlic chunks. I'm going to add a little salt to it. I'm gonna work it with the knife. There we go. Kind of like a garlic paste. Fill it right into the lemons. 
that. Red wine vinegar. Olive oil. Salt. Pepper. A little bit of cayenne. And some dried oregano. All right, so I just tasted it. Everything's pretty spot on. It's a little bit salty. So I'm just gonna give it the rest of this vinegar. One last mix. Good stuff. Nice and fresh, crunchy. Got our fat, carbs. How would I serve it up? Just like this. Probably two, maybe one more scoop. One of my skewers in the fridge because I made these when the other day, right? So I could just set that on there, but I'm gonna take it off with two of our skewer shrimp. Bam! Right on top. We just made our shrimp skewers for our weekly prep. Mm. 